Hi, my name is Jamie Feely, and I am an elementary librarian at Shepherd Elementary School. Um, Shepherd Elementary is in Shepherd, Montana, and I have been the elementary librarian for this is my fourth year. Um, librarian for this is my fourth year. Um, why did I start a career in education? Well, I actually loved being an English teacher. Um, and I loved English and drama through high, high school. And I had some wonderful teachers who made me think maybe I could do this. If I could have any other job besides this one, my, I have two dream jobs. One, I would love to be a cartoon character voice. You can totally see all of this being a, I don't know, small rodent of some kind. So if Disney's watching, you'd want me as a small rodent. Or I want to be that person who comes up with the names of like nail polish and other paints. Because, you know, I harmonic gemstone, fantastic. I could totally do that. Um, how, um, how are kids different than now than 30 years ago? Um, I think kids 30 years ago probably had a better work ethic. Um, they didn't have as many distractions. And I guess they were able to really buckle down and do what they needed to do. How teaching different? Um, many times a day, I think that I have to be like the bells and whistles that kids are now completely enamored with. If they're not getting a sticker, a star, a candy bar, or a high score, they don't really care what you're doing. And so teaching is a lot different than when I started. Um, what would I tell someone who is thinking about becoming a teacher right now? Um, don't get into teaching for the money. It's not about that. Um, get into teaching because you love the subject matter. You love making a difference. You have a goal that is outside yourself. That's how you should be a teacher. Um, thing you would change to help kids learn better, less screen time. We seem to be going technology, 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 and that's great, but technology fails. It eventually always fails. And so I would try to get back to some of the basics. Pencil and paper don't need a battery. They don't run out of juice. And so I guess I would change that about teaching right now.